Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. So today we're going to be talking about the Stoffer Chemical Plant by yours truly, Nathan Cortez. So, what is my environmental injustice? Well, like I stated before, it's going to be the Stoffer Chemical Plant. Now this was a 130 acre lot that was alongside the Anclote River and it started in 1947 and ended in 1981. Now, this facility produced elemental phosphorus by burning phosphate ore that was mined in Florida. And this took place in beautiful Tarpon Springs, Florida. If you're not aware of where that is, it's around 15 minutes north of Clearwater, Florida, along the coast. It's really a beautiful town. And the actors involved are the company itself, obviously, the EPA, and local residents. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is this an issue? Well, first of all, this plant produced very toxic chemicals, such as phosphorus, beryllium, thallium, radium-226. I can keep going. And not only did it have air pollution, but it literally polluted the soil and because it ran for so long, it eventually polluted the groundwater. And this w this became a health hazard for residents. I mean, not even after a year, the company started producing elemental phosphorus. Eight local residents filed complaints to the county, stating that it was hard for them to breathe and to raise their livestock because of the polluted groundwater. And even their plants were dying. And imagine if you were poor and living right there, you couldn't move out. You would have to be breathing in these harmful chemicals. And you would have to ship your own water in, unless you want to take a bath in phosphorus or arsenic. It was definitely unfair. Now, was there any media involvement? Eh, well, a little bit. Um, according to my research, I could only find one Tampa Bay Times article on it. And it basically went over how the state was providing the site $2.5 million um, to cover to cover it all up with new soil. So you could, you know, cover up the contaminated soil. And why was there little media involvement? Well, first of all, this took place a very long time ago. They ran from 1947 to 1981. And eventually the EPA shut them down back all the way in 1983. So that's already around 37 years ago. And the other thing is that it was more of a local issue and not a national story. Now, who was in the right? Definitely the residents near the plant. They had every right to complain that this place was not benefiting them one bit. And I definitely want to say the EPA was in the right because they finally shut them down. And also the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Now, who is in the wrong? Obviously, Stoffer Chemical Company. They are responsible for contaminating the soil and polluting the groundwater and releasing all these harmful chemicals into the air. And also the local officials who didn't do anything about it. They just let this slide for more than 30 years. Now, I would put the EPA on the wrong side too, but I do believe that this, like I said back in the media slide, that this was more of a local issue. And from my research, local officials didn't really seem to care about it. And so eventually... After the residents kept complaining and complaining, the EPA had to step in and then shut them down. So that's why I think the EPA was in the right. And so a related example to this um, takes place in Texas. So this site is called the Martin Aaron Incorporated Superfund site. And it's a 2.5 acre lot. And 
It has had every factor you can think of, starting all the way back in 1886. And the last factory to be there was Martin Aaron. And this company produced lots of harmful chemicals. And just like Stauffer Chemical Plant, it contaminated the soil and the groundwater with um, fertilizers and PCBs, among other things. And it even polluted the air and made the air smell bad and just wasn't good for you to breathe. And so, what can we get out of this? Well, we need to learn from our mistakes that companies like this are a thing of the past now. They're all shut down, which is a good thing. And that we need to keep improving our technology so we can avoid these mistakes in the future. And so, I hope you learned a lot from this, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.